Um, it was intense. We knew coming into it, it's going to be a dog fight till the end, and that's what we've been focused on this entire week, and we were able to come out and then on top. So. Gotcha. What was your men? Not not only just for this race, but what's been your mentality this entire season? Um, honestly, just being ready like a family. Our team is so close and pushing each other every single day at practices and believing in each other is what has got us to where we are today. Now, uh, you, when you think cross country, or most people, I think, they don't think as much team sport, but I know when talking to, to some of you, it really is. How is it a team sport and how does the chemistry play such a part in this? Um, it really is a team sport because of our coach. Our coach has made it where even we're part of his own family, basically. We see each other as sisters. We always support each other. We're never like competitive with each other, going against each other like that. Like We are always supportive, pushing each other in every single race, making sure that we're together no matter what. Right. So give me your, just your general, as soon as you just found out that your team won today, what went through your head? I Jumping around, up and down, I had to book it to find all the girls. We're just huge hugs everywhere. Finding another girl, telling them that it's just exactly what we came out here to do because we knew we could do it and we were able to. It was just amazing to finally prove it. Great. All right. So what's the next step now? The next step is getting ready for nationals, which is, I believe, two or yeah, two weeks away. So once we get there, that's where the fun begins. So just happy to find you talk real quick about the uh, race with Esposito. She was pushing it there a lot of the yeah, first half. Definitely. Tell me, how'd you, how'd you overcome her? Um, just strategy. That's just the way I run. I like to hang back for a while, and then when I decide to finally go, I go. And I really wanted her, and I wanted this race, and I wanted us to win. So that's basically what pushed me to get there. Were you fighting any doubts that you weren't going to be able to push faster, or did you, did you think you'd be able to take her? Um, I knew I could take her and I knew my team could get first place, so. Then how about those girls right behind you finish well ahead, about 20 seconds ahead of Esposito, but then there's a pack of your, your teammates right behind you. Mm -hmm. Talk about how they did. Um, they did amazing today. That's what we work on every single practice is making sure the gaps stay small, that we're together, we know where each other is, and then exactly like today, they were able to prove like what we've been able to do as a team. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Congra okay, so Sam Atkin, first off, congratulations. Another big win today. And uh, tell me so far, well, I mean, your season has been ridiculous. Tell me about the season. Uh, well, <laughs> yeah, I kind of, I'm kind of stunned myself. Uh, I didn't realize I'd go off this well, be this fit to perform this well, but I have, and uh, I'm looking forward to two weeks' time in nationals in Kansas. So. All right. Well, tell me about today's race. What was your mentality coming into the championships? Um, well, coach told me that you know you're gonna look like the person to win the race and. Uh, the key was not to get overly confident, um, especially because uh, we got some good runners. <laughs> especially as we got some uh, good runners uh, on the Dickinson and Rocky and Carol, um, even my own teammates. You know, you can never be too careful. And uh, I went out very conservatively, and uh, then when I felt it was ready to go, I went. So. In the Inland Empire Championships, you had some people running along with you. What was it like running just solo out there? Was it a little more difficult keeping that kind of pace up? Yeah, it was a little bit harder. Um, you know, you're trying to push yourself. I was actually trying to catch the gator. Everyone was telling me, you know, try and catch the gator and see if you can keep to it with them. Anytime I'd get any close, anytime I got close to them, they just started speeding up. I had no chance. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, All right, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Pleasure to meet you. Thank you. First off, coach, um, we know we know the girls won. I'm going to get to that in a second. Did the guys win for sure? We know Sam was in. It looks unofficially right now, yeah. I mean, it looks like we had a, you know, we ended up finishing on top today. Honestly, I don't think we ran as well as we could have run. You know, Sam Sam dominated like Sam's kind of been dominating all year. Um, you know, but the rest of our guys, I thought we gapped pretty well, but uh, we didn't look like we were quite on like the girls were, you know, but the guys raced, they raced well enough to win today. Uh, it, it, in some ways that might be a good thing for us. Now we've got some motivation that, hey, we've got to get better before nationals. You know, if we want to finish on the podium, we've got to get better. And uh, uh, hopefully today was some, some motivation to do that. I mean, we, we'll, we'll, we'll enjoy the win for the day and, and uh, back to work tomorrow. So. All right, well, tell me about the girls' race. Oh, fantastic race. I mean, I've been here 17 years now, and this is probably one of the top team races I've ever seen for us. We, we ran well, we ran with a purpose. You know, the day started off real well when I saw them, you know, an hour and a half before race. They were very loose and relaxed, and as we got closer and closer to race time, they started, 
you know, you can see the, the focus was starting to pick up a little more and a little bit more, and, and that's what you want to see. So by the time we got to race time, they were they were focused, they were ready, and, and they followed through. You know, a lot of times you can get to that point, and then the gun goes, and then you don't know what happened. But uh, today, they yes. uh, it was it was a great race for them. Yes. It was nice to see. And Alyssa Rapovi's performance. Amazing, amazing. I mean, today she she uh, you know, she's been one of our team leaders this year, despite the fact that you know she redshirted a year ago and just has come in and, and has shown. You work hard, you get focused, you do what you need to do, and you're going to get better. And she's just had amazing steps this year in, in improvement. And it's uh, it's a testament to her and hopefully a great example for the rest of my kids. So, awesome. Okay, and I mean, I don't even know what else you can say about Sam Atkin, <laughs> but try something. <laughs> yeah, you know, Sam is uh, he's such a tough kid. You know, he and I went over to... Uh, Soton uh, a couple of weeks ago to visit with those kids and, and uh, his confidence in everything is getting better and uh, that's I think that's the key is just mental toughness is getting getting better all the time and you know to, to run at that level it's not just physical anymore I could put 10 guys out there but now it's Sam's one of 10 guys but now he's the toughest guy so it, it's it's great to see for him he's, he's earned it he's definitely earned it now his times I mean below 25 minutes it, they've been ridiculous is this do you know if this is some kind of country is he like ranked in the top 20 of everyone <laughs> well you know i i am not sure exactly what the national rankings were i know after our race three weeks ago at the national level he had like the fifth best time of all collegiate runners at that point and i'm sure that's changed by now but uh uh you know he's just he's just running out of his mind and we just need him to do that for two more weeks so so what's your mentality going into the nationals well these guys have been you know, from the men's standpoint, they've been focused all year, and it's not just about podium. They want to win, and uh, I think we've got the talent to win, definitely. Uh, we've got to get some gaps smaller. We've got to get focused. You know, the next couple of weeks, we've been focusing on the little things all along, but now it's really got to, you know, it's one of those, our, our vision has got to start really getting narrowed and, and looking at what we're trying to do. I think the fact that we've been to Kansas already this year will be very, very valuable compared to some of those other teams that we might normally be equal to. I think that'll give us a little bit of a leg up, and uh, you know we got we got beat by a team back there that's also seen it. So we need, we're not the only ones that have seen it. So uh, I think today was was good for us in that we know we can be better than today, and, and hopefully we'll use that to propel us into nationals. And big thing now, we just got to stay healthy. You know, if, if guys get sick and hurt, you know we we're stuck. We, we've been there. We don't want to do that again. Women's side, we knew Alyssa was going to run well, but really to have success today, you needed the ones right behind her to do well. Yes. Talk about some of those sprints at the end. I know Sophie Bush really. Oh my gosh, yeah. Sophie was amazing today. She is, you know, she she actually had to sit out for uh, four or five days. Um, she had some plantar fasciitis that was just killing her. I mean, she just couldn't run in tears. And Sophie's one of the toughest girls I've ever met. And uh, for her to be in tears, it, it hurts. Uh, and so we ended up visiting with our team physician and uh, did some treatment that took her off her feet for a few days. Uh, and then she's had limited training the last couple of weeks, so for her to out sprint anybody um, is great and we'll take it. But I think in the next two weeks she's going to be even better. So, you know, her, Kaya has been down as well. I mean, I, you know, I, I couldn't say enough about all those girls. I mean, Alyssa, Alyssa ran out of her mind. I, I think they all just. It just it was a team effort today. We talked about it last night being a, a family and being a team and how your teammates are counting on you no matter what position you're in. And, and I really think they took it to heart. And it, it, uh, I think you give more for others than you'll ever give for yourself. So. Congratulations. Thank you very right, much. Congratulations. Thank you.